guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for a track review. And this is for the new long-awaited song, Fallen in Reverse, Drugs, track review. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to and let you know what I thought of this song. So let's dive into this review. Now, this is their third awaited single now. And this is going to be for their new upcoming album, which I'm thinking is going to be out in June or July at the latest. Well, at the earliest. I don't know when it's going to officially be out. They might release another single, but it just seems like the right time to put out an album for it now. Uh, but this song was... It was good. It just... I was surprised that Corey Taylor was in the bridge of the song. And then the video is just so... Ugh, graphical. It's got a lot of uh, violent content in it. And... Uh, just it shows Ronnie Radke uh, ch chainsawing his uh, blonde haired self or whatever from the losing my life uh, version that he was portraying as in the video as the blonde haired uh, Ronnie Radke so he chainsawed him and it seemed like this video was getting to the point where it was just like he was on an acid trip or something. And geez, this, it was like a six minute video, but it was good. Um, I don't want to say that it's good. There's a lot of weird material in it and uh, some of the things I can't fathom with what I just watched <laughs> but there was a lot of uh, I was just surprised that Corey Taylor was in this song at the bridge part uh, which was made the song very good but the auto tune in this track just uh it's standard it's not really that great but they're an auto tune kind of band and every band has their own style of how they want to portray their music but this band takes it a little too far with their auto-tune stuff and the rapping thing he was spitting in the song was mm, it was fine um I do like the verses mostly where he's like kill yourself or whatever in the song and this track just takes it to a different low it takes it to a new heights or whatever like that like first we had losing my mind which talked about him dealing with I think it was depression or that he was losing his mind for seeing things or whatever, I don't know. But, and then we had losing my life where he felt like he was dying. And now we have drugs. And this song takes it to a different, it takes it to a different route that it was supposed to go on. But, 
it does a good job for the most part. This song is pretty good. It's not a bad track, it just... There are a couple cringe moments in the song that... I was excited that they released a new song. Because it's been like 10 months since they released the song. And... I guess they wanted to release the track because of their new tour coming on for the episode 3 tour. So a lot of fans are going to be excited to listen to drugs on the tour that they are announcing, the episode 3 tour, which they're actually coming close to where I live uh, on April 26th. Which I really want to go see them, but money issues. But, uh, yeah, this track, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's a solid track. It just, the video's very wow. It's just wow. <laughs> there are so many things I can't fathom about this video but comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new fallen in reverse track uh drugs if you've heard it and if you like this review comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel i will be returning to you for the uh new year's day come for me track review very shortly and hopefully very shortly and probably another movie review i don't know but thank you for watching this review i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video